Hey guys, it's Greg again. I wanted to uh, go over Luna. I think I got my uh, microphone situation right. I don't know what's going on. It just seems like this, the computers, man, they always want to make changes for you with, you know, without you even knowing about it and just, they just do something. You gotta go back and switch it, put it back. But anyhow, hopefully my uh, microphone is working right. Um, I was going over Luna, taking a look at that. You know, and everybody, everybody's just, they keep on insisting these five wave impulses, five wave impulses. And I'm just, I'm just not seeing it again. I'm not seeing it again. So, uh, cause this whole structure, you mean you can't get five out of that, but obviously Luna completed something and it's doing a bounce. So that's good. Cause that means now we can look for, um, possibly some shorts, uh, going in. So we need to figure out where, where can Luna end up? Where can Luna end up? Is this the high? Could it uh, retrace a little bit and go up higher? I think that it could. I think it could uh, go up from here, retrace a little bit, and go up even higher beyond 90. So let's go ahead and into the 45 minute. I want to show you guys a little something here on the counts, um, what I'm trying to put together here to see to see what's going on. So you can see there's some sort of third wave there. So it came down for a fifth. So from here to here is divergence. Okay. So that's a, there's an impulse. So this is a three wave. And then if you see here to here, okay, there's a little tiny bit of a divergence. So that was a three wave move, two, three. Then it did something here. So you can see something right there. Um, and then it did something here again. Okay. Not your typical, you could say this is one, two, one, two. Um, either this is the three or this is the three of four or five. And it's a minor amount of divergence. Personally, I think this, this is some sort of three wave move in here somehow. So one, two, three, or one, or, or one, two, or, or like this. So, you know, it's, it's how you want to break this down. This whole thing could have been a C wave up. Uh, or it was there, maybe, you know, like that, or, you know, like this, um, however you want to label that. It, it's, it seems to me it's a three-wave move. Um, it's very odd. If this is three, then you have this, and this would be a five, and then you have that. That wouldn't make any sense. So somehow it's got to be a three-wave move. And then, so this here, is a W, whether the X is there or there, W, X, Y. I'm gonna take those out, clean it up a little bit. Okay, so now we have this. And, you know, everybody's going, hey, Greg, you know, I, you said, what are you doing? It's one, two, three, four, you know, five, and it extended, you know, three, four, you know, five. Uh, I'm not buying it. If you see here, this is very three wave-ish. Something ended here, obviously it's ended, had a nice reaction off of there. So something ended there and you can see, there's a, that's an impulse and you can see that this, this too could be an impulse. So more than likely it's some sort of three wave move like that, okay? So what would it be now? Then this whole thing would be your W. This is your X and it came down for a Y. So I'm gonna clean that up. So that's possibly what has happened. And if it finished a sequence on Luna right there, okay? So a big three-way move here, a three-way move here, and now a three-way move here. So the question is, where is it going now? Where is Luna going now? 
obviously right now it's going up. Um, more than likely, you have to pay attention to this to see if it goes bullish. I don't think that it is. I think Luna completed a five wave and it's in a corrective and it's going to go up. So what I would be kind of, you know, guessing that it, it may go up on another X possibly. It, it is having a good reaction. So you have to pay attention because it could be a five, three, five up and maybe this was the correction. So I'm going to pay attention to it. And what I'm going to be looking at in Luna is to see if this is going to be a three wave move. Okay. Because if it ends up being a three wave move, something like that. Okay. Then off of this structure, it'll go up in three waves. Let's just say something like that. And then it'll come down in something again to break that low. So Luna could go up beyond 90, for example, and come down and break that low, which this would be a good short. Obviously, if things have changed, you know, and, and it becomes this, you, you got to be careful it's not that. And you get, uh, you know, you get wrecked on your short. So you have to be careful with something like Luna because Luna over here was very bullish. It got really bearish here. And then more than likely, you know, just based on probability, this is a correction of this whole structure. Okay. I'm going to take that out for now. So I know a lot of people are probably thinking this is one somehow, this is two down, and this is a three. It needs to complete it. You can't do that. It's, it's broken. It's broken that sequence already. So it's not a one, two. So it's an ABC move. It's a three wave move. And then here, these are three wave moves. So what Luna did is Luna gave us proof of what this really is. And it's, it's not a, um, it's not a one, two, three, four, five, even though that could be, and then up here and then down, down here. So the reason this is not the impulse is because it, and it came up here and then down here. If this was an impulse and it came here, we would have seen another impulse. And now we have evidence right here that confirms it. That's why I was talking about Luna earlier. I said, hey, a possible short, it's going to bounce somewhere and you could get in on a short. And I, I made reference. I said in the video, I said, hey, be patient. You have to see what this plays out to see where Luna is going to go. So that's the importance of that. So uh, well, let me get rid of that. So right now, the probability of this being impulsive and it's going on to new highs is low, in my opinion, just because of this structure right here of what's going on. And this is confirming that more than likely I'm right on this structure of what it's being labeled. It might not be exactly right, but I'm getting a general idea. And now I'm going to be looking, as I said before, something like this. And the higher it goes, the better on a three-wave move. Okay? The higher it goes, the better on a three-wave move. So it'll go up and it'll come down in a B and go up in a C. And you just have to pay attention and verify that. The higher it goes, the better. And it'll be, it could be a nice short. Because if this goes up to, say, 95 to, or near 100, and then BTC is going down and it's going down, it is going to dump. It's going to dump similar to this, in my opinion. So let's take a closer look and see what it actually is doing in there. So you can see it looks like it's a five. It's an impulse wave. And it's not done. It's going to continue to go. So you see the RSI, you know, some sort of in some sort of third wave. Um, one, two, probably three, four. That's not even a five. That's still the third because the RSI, you can see the RSI. It's just continuing to go up. So yeah, it corrected something. Luna did finish this correction. So now with Luna, be paying attention to that. What does that say about Bitcoin? You know, is uh, the, the, it's the same thing, you know, like here. It's, it's A, B, C, a three-wave move. And if this is a three-wave move, here's a three-wave up, A, B, C, three, one, two, three, then there should be a three-way move here, in my opinion. 
So something like that to do some sort of X, you know, um, and definitely if, if, uh, it's test, it's back testing this, uh, resistance right here that I had, I had it, this is where I got it on the shore in Kusama. And now it's back testing that, uh, that resistance leg. So with, uh, Bitcoin, it's, it's going to be, you know, it could hit there and then swing back down or it might go sideways along here or something or trend down in that way. But you have to pay attention to the RSI to see what's going on there. So I don't know, guys, there's a possibility that thing, it could it could trend up a little bit more, go sideways a little bit more and then pop up and then come back down. So if it gets up into these levels and it already crossed that, okay? So if it got up here, you can't one, two, you know, you can't put this structure part of this structure. It's already gone up beyond that, it already crossed it. So that's just some of the things I'm looking at. It looks like Luna is gonna come up being a good short. Uh, Usama also two. Got to watch that. Make sure, see if it's a three wave on Kusama will be a good one. Solana. Um, Solana is getting kind of weak. I want to see it go up higher. So those are the two coins right now I have on my sites to uh, be looking at a uh, short. I'll go over near protocol real quick. I think that, um, you know, near protocol finished up something too. And with near protocol, um, yeah, it, it finished. Near protocol finished up something too. Let's see here. It went down. So you know, one two three, one two three, one two three. It could have completed some sort of a correction and might try to go back up and on some sort of wave. So you got to remember too that these corrections can just get more complex and just drag on and drag on like, like, like this. Let's say this is the fourth wave. I don't know. I'm just giving near hope um, that it might be bullish. It's not looking good, but we'll see. But you know, th they can get more complex into these waves where you have another W up for another X and then down for another Y or something like that. So you have to be careful of that with these types of waves that they, they can be difficult to, to trade. You know, if you're doing short-term trades, um, Less than a day, you can go off support resistance and look at those levels and trade that. Um, so that's about it, guys, uh, that I'm looking at. You know, let's just see where everything's going to go and uh, where Bitcoin's going to end up at. You know, a lot of people are looking for this uh, another leg down. Eh, not so sure, but we'll have to see what it's going to look like on this uh, resistance of, of this area right here. This is the trend uh, showing you guys. Let me. Uh, break that down for you. See off of here, support, 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 support. It was support there when I uh, I got out of the trade because I thought maybe it popped from there, but it went through it and now it's it's resistance. So, you know, I'm not, I, I'm saying there's a possibility it could break through that maybe, but there's, you know, it might turn down. So, all right, guys, it might uh, turn down a little bit um, and do a dump down here and then go back up. So we'll see, we'll see. It's looking like Luna is, is, is the one that's proving to, to me what is really going on in the markets. So I'm glad that Luna did that. So those people that bought here, down here and went long, you know, you've had really good returns. And uh, I'll tell you what, if I entered in at 76, at uh, what, 10%, 10% gains already, Mm, you know, you probably hold on to that. It'll probably be at least a three wave up and then down for B up there. So you could get above 90. I don't know. I'd probably already be out. Just me personally, man. I'm in and out of this market. I think that's a good strategy. You know, just uh, as I mentioned before in other videos is, you know, yield safely on stables and then just be in and out of the market and don't look for longs. I just, just my own personal take. I don't think the market is ready for longs yet, unless they're short, short trades on longs. That's it. Just be in and out and don't get wrecked. All right, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Peace.